Milos all of a sudden told me that, because he had um, money, he said, in a fund in Russia. When I first met him, he told me about this. And he's like, the sanctions, we got him lifted. I'm going to get money out. And he told me he was getting $10 billion. No joke. And he showed me the forms. Tristan and I just finished watching the brand new Shane Dawson Conspiracy Theories video with Brittany Louise Taylor. But there's something really important that they left out of this video. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about mental health and what I like to do is pull different topics from the YouTube community to try to teach you how to improve your mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. So very quick announcement, for months and months and months you have all been begging me to start a podcast you're like oh chris you got a podcast voice i'm like i know no <laughs> but seriously podcast is starting with my good buddy matt from the channel create you we talk about mental health all the time we talk about recovery and all that so we're like yo we blend we mesh let's start a podcast together so we have started the channel it is called unsolicited advice we will be doing it live every single tuesday and it will be up on itunes and in the other uh podcast formats on wednesdays okay so links will be down in the description below make sure you go subscribe support the channel and there's going to be some really really cool stuff coming very soon i'm super excited that we're finally getting this podcast going all right so go subscribe to unsolicited advice all right but anyways jumping into the topic like i said my beautiful girlfriend tristan and i we just finished watching the new shane dawson series where he talked about chuck e cheese that voice changer thing that was really goofy and then also we talked with his good friend, Brittany Louise Taylor, and her abusive relationship. Great job. Um, I am interested in checking out her book now to learn a little bit more about it. Um, Tristan actually sent me a video of a book review, and the story is really interesting. And there's a bunch of different angles I could take on it. I went on Twitter and I asked all of you, like, what mental health topics would you like me to cover? And everybody was saying the Brittany Louise Taylor story. So they did an excellent job. I think, you know, the audience can empathize and hopefully understand what Brittany was going through and, you know, why it was so difficult to leave that relationship. Um, but something I'm gonna be talking about in this video, which was left out of that video, and no fault of shame, by the way, but I wanna talk about signs of abuse, how to leave an abusive relationship, okay? So in this video, we're actually going to be talking about the National Domestic Violence Hotline, okay? So I'm gonna be going off of some things in this, so please, if you are in an abusive relationship or if you know somebody who is, like, make sure you share this website with them, all right? So when um, you first go onto the website, you get this little pop-up and it basically tells you like, like, cause sometimes the abuser will monitor your you know computer activity your phone activity like there's an easy way to like just hit escape or the x or whatever and it takes you to google so if they're walking in the room they'll boom you just do that all right so before i dive into that and kind of like the signs of abuse i'm relating it to Brittany louise taylor's story like let's get this out of the way real quick like men need to be better but i will say you know abusive women need to be better too some of you you know acknowledge that yeah a man can be getting abused as well. I've shared some of my stories where I have been in emotionally abusive relationships. Some of them got a little physical where I was, you know, being abused. I'm not afraid to talk about that. So this can happen both ways, but abusers need to get their act together, all right? So what I wanna do in this video, I wanna go through, you know, um, this power and control wheel, which is at the National Domestic Abuse um, Hotline website and talk about Brittany Louise Taylor's story and hopefully you guys can recognize some of these signs that either you might be going through or a friend might be going through or it'll help you spot the red flags earlier on in a relationship, okay? All right, so according to the power and control wheel, some of the signs to look for are using intimidation, using emotional abuse, using isolation, minimizing, denying, and blaming, using children, using male privilege, using economic abuse, using coercion and threats. So there's a few that I wanna to touch on specifically from what was mentioned in the Shane Dawson video that Brittany Louise Taylor talked about. There might be more examples of this 
in her book, like where she dives deeper, but I wanna use some examples from the actual video. All right, so first, obviously using intimidation, making her afraid by using looks, actions, gestures, smashing things, destroying her property, abusing pets, displaying weapons, all right? So there was a lot of intimidation. Like you saw the text messages that he was sending her or she explained the things that he would say to her like when she was like trying to leave, all right? Um, using emotional abuse, putting her down, making her feel bad about herself, calling her names, making her think she's crazy, playing mind games, humiliating her, making her feel guilty. So like making her feel guilty. So there was the part where she, where Brittany Louise Taylor talked about how he was like coming at her and, you know, and then she was like kind of like defending herself and she, you know, poked him in the eye and he said he had to go to the eye, eye doctor. And she talked about feeling guilty for defending herself, all right? And, you know, this is a form of gaslighting as well, trying to make the other person feel bad. That's in a form of manipulation. And like one of the reasons is called the power and control wheel. A lot of abuse, like a lot of the dynamic in an abusive relationship is about one person having power over the other person. And, and the thing that a lot of people don't understand is this thing can be slow, okay? This can take time. Like over time, the person breaks the person down, the abuser, breaks the abused down so they feel smaller and smaller and smaller and weaker and weaker and weaker, all right? Using isolation, controlling what she does, who she sees and talks to, what she reads, where she goes, limiting her outside involvement, using jealousy to justify actions, all right? So like some of this was, like she talked a little bit about how like she didn't really go out that much. There was, um, you know, parts where, you know, uh, he didn't want her like seeing her family and things like that and it was like, that was a really weird story, really weird. I think we can all agree on that. Um, but yeah, like Britney didn't really have people to turn to. And I'm gonna talk about the fact that she was a YouTuber in just a second too. All right, so another perfect example for this situation is using children, making her feel guilty about the children, using the children to relay messages, using visitation to harass her, threatening to take the children away. So like, there, there were different examples, but he definitely was using the fact that she was pregnant and the child and all these things, you know, to keep her in that relationship. Like, that's the thing, like, from the outside, and I talked about this in my Illimation video too, from the outside looking in, it's easy to be like, well, why didn't you just leave? Why didn't you just leave? Why didn't you just do this? Why didn't you, you know? And it's scary. It's very, very scary when someone's threatening you, when someone's threatening your child, when someone's threatening to hurt your family, right? But he was using the child as a way to control Brittany Louise Taylor. So then using coercion and threats, making and or carrying out threats to do something to hurt her, threatening to leave her, to commit uh, suicide, to report her to welfare, making her drop charges, making her do illegal things. So this is something that I don't know, it might've gone in in that story, but um, like they talked about how there was like a call girl involved and things like that. That was kind of weird. It did, you know, and I'm sure Shane Dawson had tons of footage that was left out, but this can happen in abusive relationships. Getting the other person to do illegal acts and you know, that's a form of intimidation too. Um, but also like threats. So this is something that, you know, she may have been dealing with as the victim. So. Um, something that Shane talked about, and it's something that, you know, I was thinking and all that, um, was that Brittany Louise Taylor is a YouTuber. She's a big YouTuber, right? She has a huge, massive audience. Like, why didn't this Milos dude pick somebody else? You know what I mean? And here's, like, I just want, I just want to bring up two topics, okay? So one of them is, like, some people are hiding in plain sight, all right? So it's important to look for different signs of abuse, um... Like, it's important, like, I read a book on body language and, like, they talk about, like, things to look for in a person because, you know, this is what FBI agents or even police officers or investigators use, like, when they're looking at children or they're looking at, uh, you know, um, partners who might be abused, like, the way that their, their body is behaving around the abuser because what Brittany was doing was, like you saw, she was vlogging with him, acting like everything was happy and honky-dory and all of that, but some people, they have bruises and obviously, you know, some people try to cover up for the abuser and say, oh, it was an accident, I fell, this happened, that happened, you know, or whatever. But like, by knowing 
understanding like the, not only the body language, but where like a bruise might would be. Like it's very important to learn those things if you think somebody might be in an abusive relationship. But also noticing this wheel, right? If like you have a friend who's in a new relationship and they're starting to get isolated or the other person's controlling the money. Like one of the things in here was like the epi economic abuse where like this, I didn't read that one, but usually it's like the person is afraid to leave because they're financially dependent on the other person. But in this case, like Brittany was supporting him and this can be something else too. And that can be, you know, part of it can turn into like codependency where you wanna help this other person, you keep doing this and you're trying to protect them and all of that. But aside from like hiding in plain sight, like something I, I wanna touch on and like this is just something I just keep trying to talk to all of you guys about is that we need to realize that what we're seeing on social media is not always the reality. Whether it's with a YouTuber, whether it's like somebody on Instagram, it might even be your friends or family on Instagram or Facebook or whatever. Like just realize what people are putting out there on social media is not always the reality. And the only reason I talk about that is so you don't base your self-worth, your self-love off of what you're seeing other people posting. And Brittany Louise Taylor is a prime example of that because there was a lot going on behind the scenes that nobody knew about, right? But the last thing I will touch on um, with this story is like, I am super proud of Brittany Louise Taylor, not only for like writing a book and being open about this, but then going on like Shane Dawson's channel for like, a video that's gonna get tens of millions of views to open on, like, that is so inspirational. And this is something that I've I've been talking with other creators about, it's something that I'm always trying to teach you. Like, we're all at different points in our recovery, but just realize that your story is powerful. Your story can help somebody else. So I'm so grateful that Shane Dawson and Brittany Louise Taylor got together and they're able to, you know, give this a platform and talk about how abuse is not okay. You don't have to go through this. And especially for a mother like Brittany Louise Taylor, like working in um, mental health treatment, I've seen women stay in relationships for years because of the child. But finally, Brittany Louise Taylor got to a place where, you know, she knew that you know she would rather be a single mom with Rex and get out of that situation than you know just keep the family together, right? Because a lot of parents do this. They try to keep the, the family together thinking that that's benefiting the child when in reality, it could be much worse. And Brittany Louise Taylor's, her story is you know, like much crazier obviously. Like you mentioned like she might've been getting you know groomed for trafficking or whatever that is, but just realize in any type of situation, like it is better to leave this situation and raise that child on your own than have to raise a child in that abusive household because like we've discussed in many, many, many other videos, a child is much more likely to have mental health issues growing up in that kind of household. You know what I mean? So again, super proud of Brittany Louise Taylor. Thank you, Shane Dawson, for doing another amazing series and giving somebody a platform to talk about domestic abuse and how it's not okay, all right? It, and again, I will be providing the resources down below to um, the hotline, so make sure that you check that out. Give to somebody you know if you think they might be in trouble and then again just a quick reminder my boy matt and i we are starting the unsolicited advice podcast make sure you check down in the description and in the pinned comment go subscribe to that channel first episode we are recording tomorrow tuesday february 12th all right so thanks so so much for watching if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you're new make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell and a huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on patreon you are all amazing and if you would like to become a patron and get some exclusive perks and all that stuff and join our patreon q a you can click or tap right there all right thanks again so much for watching i'll see you next time